You going to be in basketball? Say that on camera right now. Say what you said two seconds ago. That I wasn't going to what? You're not going to dog me. I'm not going to what? You're not going to dog me. Okay? She would not score. You won't score more than two buckets. I could do more than that. Nah. Yeah. That's if I let you. Let. It's not. But if I play. It's not letting. If I play. You're not scoring more than two buckets. Two points. That's it. Bye. My, you know, my dad used to play um, basketball. He used to play basketball at the reg. So we used to go with him all the time to go watch his games and stuff like that. Okay. And he's like the one of his closest friends is very, he has a big family. I just say that. And you know, I got a big family. Mm -hmm. So um, we would go to the park and my big family and the other guy's big family all have a family basketball game. And you know, I was whooping on them. Don't get all of this confused. I be doing my <laughs> shit. How tall are you, five seven? Mm -hmm. I'm six four. In your dreams, I play basketball almost every day. I'll, I'll let you have that. Okay, thank you. I'll let you have it. Thank you. Yeah, I just let you see. Actually, <laughs> she claims in what sport? The mini mini Man, golf. Anybody, anybody's done. I'm a I I I've played mini golf like three times, but because of the way she's talking, I play mini golf every single summer. Because of the way she's talking, more than once. I'm a professional mini golfer today. <laughs> it's on site. It don't matter what you call yourself. Watch this. You still gonna get. I'm gonna put the video right after this one. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it, the video right after this one. So you are gonna learn. He's not gonna put the video because he's gonna be too embarrassed. Uh, and yeah, I love shit talkers, man. I do this every day. I do this every day. I'm, I'm telling you, this is not even me shit talking. This is me speaking facts. Like I have <laughs> pictures <laughs> of my sport cards locked away in the archive, right there. I'm telling you now. Ain't no way, boy. I'm losing to a, a, okay. a girl. No. What does that have to do with being a girl? Yeah. Right? You can't just suck. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's my about my pride. My pride. Yeah, okay. I can't, I can't do that. gonna take you, but so far it's all about skill, mm -hmm. which I have. Nah. I don't know about you. It's about this. Mm -hmm. I can't let you do that to me. Don't disrespect me like that. Okay, you gonna find out. You gonna, gonna get very it. disrespected gonna... today. <laughs> 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 Put it up. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Uh, so what am I saying, YouTube? But. What's good? <laughs> today we're here with a very good friend of mine and a supermodel. And today we just want to we just want to talk to you guys about things that are important, like I always share on my channel, like your mindset and your environment, and just manifesting the dreams that you are after. You know, like things like you want to do with yourself, your purpose in life. And I brought my very good friend here, Jasmine, just to you know to share her story and her perspective on life and how those different things have helped her too so uh what's your name first of all my name is jasmine hayes you can find me at underscore sincerely underscore jazz on tiktok and instagram and yeah and what is your website my website sincerelyjazz.com wonderful so jasmine is a supermodel and we just worked on her website recently like yesterday Recently, yesterday, we worked on it for four hours, and it's live. So if you own any brands and you want to find a supermodel for you to put on your clothes and make it look nice, do photo shoots, go to her website, check out her work. She does amazing work, guys. So let's get right into it. Uh, I just want to ask you a few questions just to help, you know, enlighten people. I'll chip in where it's necessary as well. Uh, so we talked about mindset and your environment yesterday, right? And... How important, so I want to ask you, how important is your environment, like the people around you, your location, like to to your dreams and your success, right? You were once in a place where people around you were so negative, and now you feel like you're in a place where you have more time to breathe and, you know, think about who you want to be. So how important is environment to success? That's a good question. I feel like environment can be, well, there's two parts to this. 
environment plays a very big hand in motivating you or causing you not to be motivated. But on the other end of that spectrum is also just mentality mindset as well, because I mean, you can't, you can either be a product of your environment or you can rise above your environment. Mm -hmm. It's all a mentality thing. But um, like you said, where I come from, there's not very, very many people that want to help you out and build and just grow together. Mm -hmm. They just want to grow as individuals. And because of that environment can, it can kind of beat you down and cause you to not really have the motivation to move forward with your dreams and who you want to be in life because you don't have the backing to progress. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Like uh, a lot of people say like, you're some of your five friends pretty much or the five people that are mostly around you. Yeah. Right. So if you're around five bums, you're going to be the sixth bum, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you're around five millionaires, if you're around five go getters, if you're around five dreamers, you're going to be the sixth one too. So that's what I like to think about it too. Like your environment really determines who you're going to be. So the moment I was able to stop hanging out with people that didn't add any value to my life or even have any dreams or all they thought was negative things, I was able to, go to a different frequency and i just couldn't even relate with them honestly you know i feel like when you change your mindset you you start to you can't even it's like you're speaking a different language you know if you're talking to people that are not even on that frequency they don't understand what you're saying they don't understand that you have dreams they don't understand that there are opportunities around them so that's my own perspective on environment like you can still you can still change yourself within an environment and it'll just it, it would naturally just take you out of there because the moment you change your mind you're going to change your life as well. What did you want to say? And that also goes back to what we were talking about yesterday, where I was telling you about how back home people would, I would explain my dreams, explain my aspirations to people. And they called me the Lulu, uh -huh. which, okay, I, I have a little tendency to be sometimes, but when it comes down to the things I'm passionate about, there's really no delusion about it. Like mm -hmm. I'm going to, anything I say, that I'm going to do anything I set my mind to, I go after that because I know I have the capability to do that. So, yeah. Yeah, and even on the internet, I see a lot of things like people like that talk about courses. Like, you know, some people sell courses. Like, I've always been even thinking about creating a like a digital marketing course. But I see all these videos online of people talking about, oh, when you sell a course, you're the product. Like, they, they think it's a scam. Like, a lot of people think, so, think a lot of things are scams, too. Like... Like, you think something is a scam because it's, like, there to teach you something. But courses are a great investment, too. Like, so if you if you want to, how can you learn without without investing in something, like, without buying something? You don't know something, but you're not willing to pay for it because you know that person's going to make some money. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. So scam culture, like, dream culture, Delulu culture, it's crazy. Like, how are you, like, bro, like, it literally, it's all about the dream. Like, if you don't think something is possible if you don't think anything is possible what are you gonna achieve nothing like so if they look at you and they say your dreams are not possible you're delusional then what are you supposed to do just sit there and do nothing <laughs> like how are you supposed to just sit there and do nothing and with your life and okay they're right i'm yeah, delusional I, I am meant to be a bum <laughs> not a bum no, literally that's what, they're, that's what they're trying to get you to do like accept that okay i'm, I'm meant to not do anything I'm meant to be nothing because dreams are impossible. Mm. It doesn't it literally doesn't make any sense when you think about it. So Delulu is the way to Solulu. Literally. <laughs> when you're a little bit Delulu, you find a Solulu. Okay? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I can't believe I said that. Uh, but <laughs> let's move on. So we talked about environment and we also talked about like a little bit about creating your reality yesterday. You said you created a life for yourself where it's like, mm -hmm. oh I I I designed this life that I have today, where I work, what I do, you know, things that I'm trying to achieve, um, my, the peace of my environment, my own place, you know, things like that. Like, let's talk about, can you talk, share a little bit about that, how you created your reality and how, what, what it took you, like we talked about the pain that you, like the, the hard times that took you into actually creating your reality, right? Let's let that, let, let's let that injured person get by. <laughs> I was wondering why there was traffic over there. I guess that makes sense. Oh yeah, a car accident. Um, so basically at the end of last year, 
like maybe right around this time last year, um, and I didn't share this with you yesterday because I told you I was going to end up getting emotional. But okay. <laughs> I, I really been hearing God just tell, give me a push to just tell my story for real and stop holding it back. But wonderful. Um, I'll say like May or June of last year, I got diagnosed with PTSD, anxiety, and depression mm. at one time. So. From that point, like whichever point it was, May or June, I can't remember, all the way until December, I kind of was just wallowing in that and just really in a negative space and mm. just unmotivated, didn't even really want to be here for real. Mm. But um, once I had gotten to the, the end of that, I kind of just started to think to myself, like, what's really holding me back right now from achieving everything that I want to achieve in my life? Like, there's nothing. It's just because they told me, oh, you're X, Y, and Z, that mm -hmm. I was, I mean, not that I was falling into that because that, that was my reality at the time. But, I mean, it became even more of my reality because my mindset was matching that as well. Like, my mindset wasn't in a place to be able to, receive what they were telling me and then push through it like I was stuck in that place so once the end of last year came I really just told myself like okay I'm gonna have <laughs> I just told myself like okay I'm gonna have like a list of things that I just want to accomplish for the year a list of things that are going to keep me motivated day by day to, to help me to not feel so down and depressed like when you have goals and things that you're working towards it really pushes you to like it, it, it's a motivator for sure it makes you feel good at the end of the day knowing that you've accomplished the things that you set your mind to so for me that was reading books and that was learning a new language that was telling myself like okay I'm not going to spend another year in this environment that I'm in so in December I implemented a plan like okay soon as January hits, I'm about to start saving up and looking for places and finding a job in a whole new environment where I know that I can get everything that I'm looking for out of life. And now I'm, like I said, I wanted to read books, more books. I went from reading zero books last year to now I'm on like 14 or 15 for the year. And we're just in October. I said, I wanted to um, do Spanish. I have a little streak now on Duolingo. It's 285-ish days, something like that. I can't remember, but it's it's getting up there. But And now I'm here, where I, exactly where I said I wanted to be at the beginning of last year. So I'm just, once again, grateful that it definitely wasn't of my own strength. It was God helping me to get through all of that and really just paving the way for me to get to where I am today. That's so powerful. Thank you for sharing. I, I want to say you don't you don't give me the vibe of ptsd the anxiety yeah, I don't nobody ever does yeah, like. i don't even be shy sometimes but <laughs> other than that i don't i don't even i don't even see that in you first of all and i want to say like you said during your speech right now you, you said uh you didn't accept that for yourself you decided to actually take action to do something different and not uh take xyz as who you are right because People can label you, oh, this is who you are. You're going through this because of this symptoms. But it's all about your choices and who you decide to be. Like, you chose to do different. You chose to take yourself out of that. And I just want to give you a big congratulations. You you figured life out, right? And that's yeah. it. Like, you got, out of your, you got out of your own way and you didn't accept the diagnosis that they gave you. you. You know you're better than that. You know you're something more than that. And you put in the work. You started learning about yourself, learning about life, right? And you started learning in general. And... That's another key point I wanted to put out there. Like, learning is so important. Like, I know school, school is like a forced learning, but you need to learn how to learn on your own, what yes. you're interested in. Like, I'm always, I'm always learning something because if you're, if you're struggling in life, then you need to learn something. It means you don't have it figured out. So it means you're missing some information that you, you need to learn pretty much. So. You can't complain if you're not trying to learn what you're missing. Like, And can I just add, there's nothing in this world that you cannot learn how to do at all. There's resources for every single thing. Mm -hmm. This face that you see, this beat that I got going on, learned that from YouTube. Mm -hmm. I don't wake up like this, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. even though I wish I did. But 
I don't wake up like this. So that was learned um, when we were talking about sports and stuff like that. That's also learned. That was me putting in the time, the dedication to learning how to do that. Me putting in the time and dedication to do my read my books and do my Spanish because I I want to be able to I want to be able to be um, what am I trying to say bilingual speaker. It, not even just that. I want to be a harpin harpin. What's the word? Harpenter harpenter. <laughs> I don't know. My books are failing me. <laughs> I don't know. I want to be um, basically a place where lots of skills and knowledge resides, mm-hmm. basically, and I. The resources are out there. That's why I have so much that I can offer myself, not even to the world, just to myself, because I put in that time and I, I'm patient with learning each and everything that I'm dedicated to. Mm, powerful. Like, I want to even touch on that point that you just brought up, which is um, you said you can learn anything. There's so many resources out there for free. Like, I, I went to university for four years, studied computer science. But guess what? Like, in university, everything I learned was on YouTube. Like yeah. all the programming courses, all like my teacher will be speaking to me in class and it's like, no, 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 no. Well, I'll go on YouTube and I'll find somebody that's like even better, even like teaches it in a, in a more understandable way, like in a regular way, in a fifth grade level or, you know, simple things. But in, in university, I used YouTube and Google to graduate university with a 3.9 GPA. Okay. Scott. You know what I mean? Like. A no flex, but you know, like I use YouTube. Now that's a flex for sure. I, I use YouTube for that. So things like that, like there's nothing you can't learn. That goes back to what I said about courses, like courses, business coaches. There, there's so many people out there that are willing to help you to learn something. Like I, when I was, let me share a quick story. Like I told you, I worked at a warehouse right before I started my business, right? Mm-hmm. So I, that was the lowest point in my life where I was like, I have a computer science degree. I lost a software developer job and I'm working at a warehouse. Nah, nah, something got to shake. I got to change something or something's wrong in my mindset. I had, I had a couple, like I had like a month and my, my bills were going to be due in like a month. So I quit the job. I, I locked all in. I had like $300 in my account. I swear to God. And I had gone on YouTube and I, I, I searched how to sell websites because I knew how to build websites. Right. And I searched how to sell websites. And I found this guy that was talking about he sold websites for like $5,000 to like big companies that want to start businesses and different things like that. Right. For $5,000. And I knew, okay, all I need to do is sell one website. So <laughs> that video <laughs> made me quit my job <laughs> and risk everything. Right. And I had $300 left in my account. Then I was scrolling on TikTok one day and I stumbled upon a TikTok live. It's funny how all these algorithms work. They know you so well. I was scrolling on a TikTok live and I saw this business coach that was talking about, you have skills, you need to sell your skills, you need to do it, like actually preaching to me. And he's like, invest right now, like, and I'll talk to you after this live and we'll work out what you need to do to make some money and start a business. You know, obviously I'm thinking like all these people online, oh, this must be a scam, this has to be a scam. I'm on the chat on TikTok telling him, you know, I, you're talking to me right now, bro, but I don't want you to scam me. This is my last $300, I need this shit. And I ended up paying for the program, like the coaching program, right? And boom, he was the one that actually asked me so many questions about myself and my skills. Like, yo, you know how to run Facebook ads? You know a lot of you, st- you have a whole degree in this stuff? Like, dude, why are you not believing in yourself? That's not, like, he was so real with me. Like, he was looking at me like, like you're crazy. <laughs> you know, like, you should be doing so well. You're so smart. You're so intellectual. You know how to think, but you don't believe in yourself, so you do nothing, right? And after paying that, in like two weeks, I made like $7,000 just from investing in a business coach, investing in resources, learning and asking questions online. Like I, I searched on YouTube, how do you make money doing this? Literally, I'm sure there's whatever you're passionate about, the business you're trying to start. If you go on YouTube and you search, how do I make money doing that? Even with AI, there's so many resources going back to what you said, right? Another dead person. Don't say that. <laughs> rest, in, rest in peace. God forgive you. Nah, I'm not trying to be this. But you know what I mean? So, basically, like, there's so many resources, like she said. There's so, so many resources out there for you to actually learn something and take yourself. Like, 
like take yourself from a position where you're at now to a different level but if you're if your mindset is so closed where you don't want to learn anything you don't want to open your mind to receive from other people oh gosh was there a school shooting i don't say that no that was a dark joke it's dark humor it's dark, it's dark humor. It's dark humor. Don't cancel me, please. But yeah, I'll take that out probably. Probably I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But yeah, like there's so many resources for you to learn. And most of the things I learn and I use to teach people and help people start their businesses, I learned from somebody else. I didn't make it up. I learned from somebody else. I learned from my experiences too. Like when you take action, you're gonna learn. So that's powerful. That's you, you brought up a key point right there. <laughs> try not to laugh at that joke. Huh? I'm trying not to laugh at that joke. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be laughing. It's dark humor. It's, oh, it's okay. It's, they understand. Don't worry. You got to put some personality into it, right? That's the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you laugh? Because I can't believe you said that. <laughs> exactly. That's, the, that's what dark humor is, right? Wow, okay. You got to have an open mindset about dark humor, too. Right? That's okay. So one more question for you, mm -hmm. Jazz. One more question. Why why do you think people are I understand that, yeah, there's in especially in the black community, uh, but I don't even want to I don't on my channel I don't really like to be like specific to race and things yeah. like that, but why do you think there's so much I, I know there's trauma, I know there's um different things that have happened in the past, but why do you think there's so much negativity and and distractions like you don't see a lot of black people owning businesses or even people in general owning businesses, starting businesses. Why do you think that is happening, right? Like, why do you think? Because regardless of anything, 2024 is is the, is like in history. 2024, no matter what it is right now, what you see on the news, 2024 is still one of the greatest years in life. You can't tell me that, like, you can, you have access to credit, you have access to different things, you have access to knowledge like we talked about information like you're watching this video on a phone in another country in another city in another place at a different time you know we have all these tools and all these resources that could help us maximize our opportunity why do you think people are are so they're not enthusiastic about life and they just given up um i think it could really be just a number of things like just number one not believing that it could happen for you mm -hmm. just not believing that if you put your time and energy towards something that it, it could be exactly what you want it to be um also just lack of resources it could also be that that's the point where i was at back home where i just like i had all the time and money in the world and i'm just like i don't have any type of resources i don't know any photographers i don't know any videographers i don't know anybody do it, that has a boutique that would be willing to take me in or even anything mm -hmm. it could be that um it could just be because they're okay with their life and i mean there's going to be some people who are okay with their life as it is and that's perfectly fine but if you know that you want more for your life don't sit back just hoping that one day it's going to happen for you you have to work for it mm -hmm. all good things all the, the amazing things in this life are worked hard for. Mm -hmm. Trust and believe. But even to talk about hard work, I like to say, like I told her yesterday as well, a labor of love is no labor at all, right? Like, I could sit here, make this content, go home and edit it for hours, and I wouldn't feel like I worked hard. But people will say that's hard work. People will be like, oh, wow, you've grown your channel to 1,600 subscribers. You have all these views. That's hard work. But in my, in my, the way I think about it, it's just what I wanted to do at the time, right? So it's more about what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? Like, what do you want to become, right? And that's what's important. And like you said, resources, I was, I'll say like even with resources, like I said, I had $300 left in my account, right? And I used that all just to get information because information and time is one of the most powerful resources that you have because what you don't know will hurt you, first of all, like, what you don't know will hurt you and what you use your time for. People have a lot of habits. Like you have a lot of habits that you got to schedule your time. And what are you doing every day? I'm not talking to people that don't want this life. Like she said, if you're comfortable with your life, great. 
But if you want more for yourself and you're tired of struggling, then you have to do something different. Like you can't, you can't keep complaining. You can't keep complaining, and it's it's not really necessary hard work. It's all about action. Like work smart, don't work hard. Get the information and use it. Uh, they say great artists steal, smart artists copy, and dumb artists try to create. Right. So if you're see what works, don't try business tip 101 like don't try to build a business that is non-existent people think like oh i want to build a business that nobody's ever heard of no find something that people actually want that's in demand right like modeling right like acting like you know do content creation find be tuned to the times if you if you're not in tune with the times you're going to struggle if you're trying to be if you're trying to start something new the new, like you know, if you're trying to build something that's non-existent, you're gonna struggle. I'm not saying don't be creative and invent things, but that doesn't come with financial stability. If you want to make money in business, then you have to use knowledge, get the knowledge, and use it for yourself. Take action, get the knowledge. There's, like, I'm, I know I'm rebuttaling your your statement, but resources are available to you because the most powerful resource is information and time. What are you using your time to learn? The thing you want to learn is online. I know there's universities and there's certain de- jobs that you can't work without a degree. Fine, but there's businesses you can start with zero dollars. You just have to be able to be creative. Like I told you, I shared my story with you, right? About how I started shooting commercials. And I didn't have thousands of dollars in camera equipment, right? And I knew I wanted to start creating commercials for businesses. And I just... The idea just popped in my head. I don't have to own the camera. All I need to do is find a production company that has the cameras. They're already successful. They're already big. He already had cameras worth it like $10,000, all the lights, all the stands, everything. That's his job. That's his role to play. And I found him, and I found the business, and I brought the situation together. I created my reality with $0. I made money with $0. All I needed was the information and be certain about what I know and i found the tools and i found the customer and i bridged the gap so if you want to make some money bridge the gap if you want to start a business learn how to bridge the gap bring the customers and the tools together the things you need the information and the people together and you can make some money but this was fun though what do you think do you have anything you want to add um like you said find your space and squeeze in there just like if it was a y'all know how when you're trying to find a parking spot and you finally spot one and it's squeezed tight between two different cars, mm-hmm. find your space and squeeze in there. Mm-hmm. Just right. like that. Um, one last question. What would you, if you were looking at your, talking to yourself at 18, mm-hmm. what would you tell yourself right now? Ooh, I'm trying to remember who I was at 18. <laughs> <laughs> um, that... Setbacks aren't the end of the world, for sure. Um, Also, that your dreams can be different. It doesn't have to be the path that everybody takes. It doesn't have to be go graduate high school, go to school, go into the workforce. It doesn't have to be that. And that's okay. And just because you, I decided to choose, if I was talking to myself, just because you decided to choose a different path from everybody else, it doesn't mean that you're less than. It doesn't mean that you won't be successful. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't be great. It's just about, like I said, finding your space and making the moves, the proper moves to get in where you fit in. Thank you so much for that. All right, guys. So if you want to start a business, remember, click the link in my description. Beast Digital Marketing, we help people like you build your website, do the marketing, and start something great that you can have for the rest of your life and potentially pass into your gifts. Business is the, like 70% of, 80% of wealthy people are entrepreneurs. So I always encourage you guys, start a business, even if you have a job. Invest, use the money that you get from your job and invest into something that you can build and actually uh, have more time for yourself later on in the future. A business is the only way to wealth. Jobs have ceilings. So click the link in the description. 
Beach Digital Marketing. Reach out to me. I would love to help you. And we end this one saying, peace. Peace and cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we got in the drinks, but <laughs> peace.